Here at the Galveston Island State Park, sea turtles make this their home, but it's not an easy one to live in. And so from Louisiana to Surfside, sea turtle patrols monitor this 87 mile coastline to make sure they survive. From April 1st through July 15th, Kemp's Ridley sea turtles swim up from the surf, sights set on the sand dunes. So these are small dunes here. And so they'll go up to the edge of the vegetation here. But it's a job easier said than done, from the predators flying high to the exhausting trek to the sand temperature itself. Sea turtle biology is interesting in that the nest temperature determines the sex of the animal. If the nest temperature is below 81.86 degrees Fahrenheit, the eggs will be male. If it's above 87.8 degrees Fahrenheit, they'll be female. Anything in between is a toss up, but a changing climate could lead to increasing sand temperatures on our beaches, throwing the delicate breeding balance out of whack. Dr. Christopher Marshall, director of the Gulf Center for Sea Turtle Research, has been studying the sand along our coast. So far, it looks like our nest temperatures are uh, pretty stable and not too high, but that's all preliminary right now. But while things seem fine now when we visited, his team isn't taking any chances. After all, the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle is the most critically endangered in the world. And so every nest and every egg really counts. His team of 300 volunteers monitor the beach six days a week, scooping up eggs and taking them to an incubation facility, giving them a fighting chance. The hatching success would be anywhere from zero to maybe 50 percent. But when we protect the nest in that incubation facility, we can get up, get up to 95 percent. An important percentage because along this 87 mile coastline, sea turtles will lay around 1500 eggs a season. But according to NOAA, only one or two of them will make it to adulthood. NASA says our warming climate could be what's driving sea turtles into extinction. But sea turtles have been around for more than 100 million years. And so. So why is it that, you know, uh, this specific time period and this specific change is causing concern, you know, when they have been around for millions and millions of years and found a way to adapt. I think it's a question of that, as you said, it depends on the duration and how long they have to actually adapt. We're experiencing these changes on a very short time scale. NASA scientist Dr. Michelle Girock says there's enough data to understand change is happening, but not enough to understand the impact it's having on sea turtles. We don't have the data, the underlying data, to really sort of um, state whether or not these predictions and assessment are reality. We know that they're being impacted, but at what level? How do we get a more definitive understanding? NASA says it'll come from exploring our ocean more. NOAA says 80% of the ocean is unmapped, unobserved, and unexplored. NASA hopes to change that soon. There's some new satellites coming online that can start filling in some of those puzzle pieces. Those satellites are scheduled to be operational by 2032. Until then, the work continues. Now the Gulf Center for Sea Turtle Research plans to continue their work by partnering with 12 additional conservation groups all along the Gulf of Mexico beginning this summer. And some very motivating news. Just last night, researchers announced they found a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle nest here at the Galveston Island State Park, and they haven't done that in a decade. So amazing news and a phenomenal feeling, I'm sure, for folks that are trying to preserve this endangered species. And guys, I'm hopeful that maybe they'll find another one out here today because the sea turtles love this weather. Windy, like Cheetah was talking about, stormy. You know why? Because it keeps the predators away. So they'll muscle through the stormy conditions if they have a fighting chance to lay their eggs in a safe space. Back to you. This has been so interesting. Ken, thank you so much. At first, I love seeing the live elements out there, but also I can't believe out of 1,500 eggs, only one or two make it to adulthood. I can't believe that. And then the females love it above 87 degrees. I do feel that's kind of practical into real life, though, and the males, <laughs> not so much. that was true for me. Yeah, but no, it, it is amazing to watch the, the yeah. releases, and, and you know a few of them are going to make it even when so many, so many don't. I know. I'm so glad they're now. doing so much research right mm -hmm. now, you know, and still kind of investigating exactly mm -hmm. how we can kind of preserve it. So. Really good news out there. It Way is. to go, Ken. And Cheetah will be right back with weather and traffic on the ones in just three minutes. Stay with us.